Greetings and salutations and thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're going to talk about this really groovy piece of software called Ocean Audio. I think that's how you pronounce that. If I got it wrong, I apologize to the developers, but it certainly looks like Ocean Audio to me. And it is exactly what it says it is here on the web page. Easy, fast, and powerful. It is an audio editor, and I have been looking for something like this that was native to Linux for quite some time. In the voiceover industry, people use pretty much one of three programs. You've got Adobe Audition for Windows, or you can get Pro Tools for Windows, which is very expensive and usually is way more program than you need for simple voiceover or simple audio editing. And then for Mac, there's Twisted Wave, which is quite popular with people who do voiceover work. And for Linux, up to now, the ones that I've looked at has been like Audacity and Ardor, and neither one of those has really turned me on and made me want to use it. About two or three months ago here, I completely got rid of all of my Microsoft products. When I switched from Windows to Linux, I was using Adobe Audition 3, which is a rather old version, in Wine to do this kind of work, and it worked okay, but... Adobe Audition has always been to me finicky and it crashes a lot and all this other stuff and it did it in Wine as well so I've been looking for an alternative. Audacity seems to be good just for like recording audio and very simple editing but if you want to get into really tight little cuts and things like that it's a problem. About two or three weeks ago I had a project that I was doing where I had an hour and a half of audio that I had to cut down. I had to take segments out of it and get it to a much shorter presentation and Audacity kept locking up on me while I was trying to do that which was really unpleasant so my friend who is a voiceover artist he sent me the message this morning he said you gotta check out this piece of software so I did I downloaded it and it seems to work really really well this is a cross-platform program that is available as a download it's open source so that is awesome in and of itself and as you can see we have lots of windows installers we have a mac installer here and also installers for lots of different linux distributions the developers do not have a specific deb package up yet for ubuntu 1604 however i found that the 64-bit deb package for debian and ubuntu 1504 works just fine on my Linux Mint 18 desktop, which is based on Ubuntu 1604. There was only one dependency that needed to be satisfied, and it worked okay. So I'm assuming that this will work fine on Ubuntu 1604. If it doesn't, my apologies. I haven't tried it on straight Ubuntu, just on Linux Mint. So you can come and check this out here. And I will put the link to this page in the description below. So let's go ahead and get into looking at the program itself. Professional audio editing is sort of a niche anyway and finding something that works really nicely on Linux is a treat so if this works out well for you be sure and give some positive feedback to the developers and also consider sending along a monetary donation as they are making it available for a free download and it's open source okay so we have the basic program this is what it looks like I did put the big meter over here because I like that so we need to record some audio so we have something to play with and I got it set for 44.1 we're gonna do a stereo audio track and the main reason I'm doing 44.1 is that pretty much all of the stuff in my sound effects and production music library is at 44.1 you can convert sample types here though so if you have to convert something to something else for whatever reason you can and you can record in mono, stereo, you can also do multi-channel audio, and this integrates very well with pulse audio. So you can use the pulse audio volume control to feed audio into it from any part of your system. You can put streaming audio in here, you can do whatever you want. Awesome. Mary had a little lamb. Take two. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere Mary went, it stank because of that lamb because of that lamb and you notice when I stopped it there it played back my voice so we have a rough track here and I can do a trim down real quick here so I'll highlight the beginning and the end 
and I'm use, holding the control key down to highlight different sections and then the delete key, boom, trims it out. Also I can use this to take out some of these spaces and breaths. So we'll highlight there, I'll highlight here, and I'll highlight here, just to tighten things up a little bit. And boom, there you go. It was white as snow, and everywhere Mary went, it stank because of that lamb. Now that's pretty cool, but the audio needs to be smoothed out a little bit. So we're going to go to effects. And I'm going to go to dynamics processing. I've already played with the compressor and set it up. When you're using tools like this, you can preview it and you can also see what it's going to do to the waveform. So it shows you what you're working on exactly, which is kind of nice. Gives you a visual representation of what you're going to be actually processing. So let's go ahead and just apply it here. And as you can see now, that smoothed things out nicely. So we got nice consistent volume through there. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere Mary went, it stank because of that lamb. Okay, so that's a nice little sound bite. I'm going to put some noise gate on it, though, because there's a little bit of noise in the background. I'm not really recording in the most ideal conditions. So put that on there and see what that does. And everywhere Mary went, it stank because of that lamb. Very nice. Okay. So we have our little voice track. Now this is not a multi-track editor like Adobe Audition or Pro Tools or something like that. It's just a digital audio workstation. But that doesn't mean that you can't do some pretty cool mixing effects here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Well, it's, it's offering to record something. It's not what I want to do. What I want to do is open something. And I'm going to jump into this audio directory. And I have a thing here called Bob's Music Cafe. It's got some music and sound effects. And we'll just grab a, a random sound effect. I don't even know what it is. Oh, we have a sound effect. Let's play it and see what it sounds like. Well, that's kind of annoying, but we'll make it work, right? So we have our sound effect audio right there. And I'm going to highlight all of it. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to our original track. And I'm going to put that at the beginning of the track here. Right there. And then I am going to come back here. We're going to do a paste special. I'm going to turn that audio way down. Lock those channels, please. I'm going to turn that audio down a little bit. We don't want it that loud. So we'll go down to, uh, you know, like 20% there. And we want to overlap, so do it. Now, let's see what that sounds like. White as snow. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere Mary went, it stank because of that lamb. Okay, so we have our nice little we have our nice little uh, bite there, and of course you could keep adding effects and you could do things like that. You could also take segments of a, of a long narration and you could save them and then you could move them around. You could change the order of things, and this is the kind of stuff that you need to do for what I do most of the time. So this is perfect. So I can make little sound effects. I can throw things in. We can also uh, generate some things here. So let's go here. I can make some tones. Let's generate. We got a nice little joy noise generator. If you need to make some noise for testing or something like that, okay. We got. Uh, let's see here. What else have we got? We can make DTMF tones. That's always useful. So let's generate some tones and put them right there. So at the end we have. One, two, three, four. <laughs> like we're dialing a telephone. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere Mary went, it stank because of that lamb. See, okay, so we got our crazy little thing here. And then what I'm going to do, a little trick I'm going to show you guys. We're going to generate a little silence at the end. I'm going to generate about six seconds of silence there. And I'm going to, now you're probably asking, well, why am I sticking silence on the end?
because I want to add uh, some little bit of reverb in here. So let's go ahead and preview that. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere Mary went, it stank because of that lamb. All right, so I put a little reverb in it just to give it a little body. That takes a little while for the system to do, and it's done that. And now, see, my decay on my reverb, I don't lose any of it. So now I can go ahead and take this extra out because there's nothing there. So it's a nice smooth fade on the end there for the reverb. Okay, so that's what this does. I mean, this is what this little program will do. So now that I'm all, now that I'm all finished with my file, we're going to call that done. We're going to normalize it to 98% or whatever the client wants. Sometimes they'll tell you make it minus 3, make it whatever, you know, they want a certain audio level. So we'll do that. It didn't have to do much to that to do that. So now this file is done. We're going to call this a, a finished little sound bite. Very went. It's Mary had a little lamb. Okay, so now we will go and we need to export this. And we can make this a wave. We can make it an MP3. We could make it an AUG. Let's do an MP3. This is this uses lame, so you'll have to have the lame package in there to make it work. And I've already preset this to what I usually use, which is 192 kilobits and also for your stereo here your stereo mode make sure that you have that in normal and not joint stereo you get some kind of strange effects if you do that and these make lame makes very high quality mp3s if you do it this way so it's by default I'm going to just throw it on the desktop so I'm going to go ahead and let it all right so it should have put our file in there and yes I actually have it where it will open it up So there's our MP3, and we can play it back and check it out. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere Mary went, it stank because of that lamb. Call that a finished piece of work. And I just did that when you guys were watching this video. And, uh, you know, like making like liners for radio stations, jingles, little announcements like that. This is how you do it. I mean, you just kind of take things and stick them together and throw sound effects on top of them. And yeah, it's nice to have a multi-track editor, but I don't need multi-track to do that. And one of the reasons is, is because when I first started doing this many, many years ago, the first time that I ever saw a digital audio editor was back in 1994. We had a program called Cool Edit, and it was just a very simple DAW and had pretty much all the same basic features here. And I could make that program do just about anything. So for me, the workflow... The way this thing works for the stuff that I do is awesome, and I love it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Those of you out there who do some audio editing work might get something out of this. And you don't have a great deal of effects in here. There's not like a, a whole stack of them, you know. You don't get like VST effects and things like that. So you might want to use, this might be something that you add to your arsenal for quick and dirty editing. And you could use uh, something like Adobe Audition or you could use Audacity has a few more effects in it. And you could do your editing here and then switch back and forth. It's usually the way it works. I've never found one audio editing solution on any platform that worked 100% and did exactly what I needed it to do. But this is awesome. It works very, very well. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a cross between Cool Edit and a program that used to be around probably about 20 years ago called SoundForge. Kind of looks a little bit like that. Has the same look and feel. All right, so we can go ahead and close this out because I'm done with this video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. So I'm not going to save my files there. And I did all of that audio editing and all that crazy stuff while I was capturing audio and video. So... Obviously, that program is fast, and it's very lightweight. The actual download file is only like 10 megs. Very tiny little program. Very powerful little program. Love it. Do check out freedompenguin.com for lots of great articles about Linux from contributors like myself. I haven't put anything up there in a while. 
and probably be a little while before I do put something up there on Freedom Penguin. So if you're listening, Matt, I haven't forgot about you. Also, check out EasyLinux.com. We just revamped that page. Still tweaking, still working on that. And you can find out more about what Easy Linux is and how I can help you get started with Linux, whether that is for your home or your business. Also, check out Easy Linux on Facebook. And if you would, give it a like. And if you like this program, make sure that you send some feedback to the folks who developed Ocean Audio. I think it's a groovy little program, and I think you will too. Thanks for watching. Bye.